hey guys, I know, uh, it's like, hey, why does Phil keep putting this on the share cast and stuff? I'm like, cuz, it uh, seems to be helpful to the ones that are actually looking at it. Not because of me, but I'm like, look, y'all need to understand, I'm preaching to my own self. I mean, Jesus is talking to me as I'm sitting there trying to say these things. And um, uh, we've been encouraging each other on our, um, in our men's group to uh, uh, work with one another and leaving the, the video and stuff so you can actually, you know, see the faces and the emotions and all that sort of thing. So I'm just trying to lead by example. You know, don't let perfection be the enemy of progress. You know what I'm talking about. So, but I am here in Columbus now. Um, I, uh, uh, another, it, I won't say it was the best thing. The best thing was playing a Krypton. But the, um, uh, another good thing is I got offered the uh, medic job, a medic job at, um, Ohio State, and so since I ain't gonna go there and play football uh, like Pop did, <laughs> I said I can at least continue to pass out band-aids, and maybe the time in doing that um, can, uh, you know, be just as fun and honorable and all that sort of thing, and blah blah blah. And hopefully they give me uh, discount tickets on on uh, for the season ones. I don't know. I'm gonna try to see what I can come up with, and um, so. That's that as I was talking to dad, he said, he said, don't be telling them, don't be telling them no, no funny stuff. I'm like, you already know your son. Uh, I was talking to uh, my son-in-law, Arie, him and Layla the uh, other day. We went to IHOP after, uh, after we went to, to uh, church and stuff. And I was like, come on, dad, we're going to go to IHOP. I said, like, okay. So we go to IHOP and all, and I'm talking and, and he's like, what's going on? What's that ring? What's that ring you got? I said, oh, that's uh, that's my dad's national championship ring, 1970. I, I said, I, I've already talked about that. He's like, tell me. I said, okay. I said, 1970. And so I went over a little bit of what it was about. We got into talking about um, uh, uh, some of the antics and different things that happened. And I said, uh, I said, well, you remember Jack Tatum was on that team? He's like, yeah. He's yeah. I, I said, well, him and you know my dad were best buds. I mean, they was, they was best friends. And uh, so much so that, you know, um, John David Tatum is, you know, Jack Tatum's, you know, actual name. And, you know, that's my middle name, John David. And uh, it was named after um, his good friend, Jack. And uh, I said, I said, there was a, a movie, um, SWAT, by the way. And he, he's like, oh, with Samuel Jackson? I'm like, the exact one, you know, remake of an old show. But long story short, Samuel Jackson's in the movie. He's running around. Colin Farrell is his, is his name, I, I think. Uh, anyway, this this perpetrator runs. He's he's gone. Colin, and he goes, and you know the young guy, and he's chasing him. And and Samuel Jackson gets back in the in the in the squad car, and is like, hmm. hmm. And so what I'm thinking, Samuel Jackson, is the face he has on is, I'm gonna work smarter, not harder. So he drives around. And anyway, uh, Colin's chasing this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Dun -na, dun -na, dun -na, dun -na. That's the SWAT theme song I was trying to sing, but just came out like a joyful noise. But here it is. So he's almost got him, and he's running down this alley, and then all of a sudden his arm comes out, and pow! The perp hits the arm. It's Samuel Jackson's arm, goes down, and basically got him. And this little kid's sitting there on a bike, and he's like, ooh, boy, no, he took you down like he took you down like Jack Tatum. And I was like, what? And so it was funny, because it was in the movie SWAT. I would love to know the actual minute mark that that was in. Um, on to that, that's my uh, wife Cassandra's favorite uh, movie and stuff. Uh, she said the commander kind of reminds her of uh, her dad not Samuel Jackson but there's a there's a commander in there and all and I'm like hmm so anyway it has multiple things that 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 make us say <laughs> so I'm at IHOP again and I'm talking to the son-in-law and I told him about that part he's like seriously I said yeah I said uh, Jack Tatum was tough and for him to even get into um you know like the mainstream you know pop culture you know of, of different things and be referenced in different things you know is is uh uh, interesting in and of itself. And I said, he wrote a book called, uh, they call me assassin. And then, uh, yeah, another book called, they still call me assassin. And in the chapter, different strokes for different folks. I think that's what the chapter's name is. There's a story in there and Tatum has, he comes home and, uh, um, 
y'all forgive me i'm supposed to meet my mom for uh coffee uh, here at panera and stuff but i still got a few minutes so here we go <clears throat> so jack tatum comes home and he's tired he's 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 it's out late and all that sort of thing and uh he comes home and he just boom he's tired just boom lays right down in the bed and uh and just right there on top of the sheets and everything sleep and stuff oh, i'm tired i'm tired oh strict you know dad was his roommate and stuff he oh he must have went on to work or whatever and stuff and boom so he's sleep in the bed first bed he saw strict's bed so side note as a fireman 24 on 48 off for 27 years um some of the things that you just did not mess with you don't mess with another man's bed and you don't mess with another man's food that's it you don't don't play those games we don't we don't play with that and stuff There's, that is fighting stuff so i don't know what it is but that's just how it is don't touch my stuff we're good all right i respect your stuff respect my stuff we best buds i love you i got you you know you need a kidney i got two you know whatever but don't touch my stuff you know don't don't lay on my bed you know i don't want your slobber on my pillow all that sort of thing so jack wakes up and when he wakes up, he's flying through the air. Whoa! Like that. And Strick, Phil Strick the first, threw him out the bed and he's flying across the room. Ah! Go, go, go. And he lands. He's like, ah, oh, what? And I was in Strick's bed. He's like, get out of my bed. And there might have been there might have been some cuss words in there, but we're all, you know, following people. Give, give some grace on that. So they wind up uh Fighting, they fighting. Ah, you another one, ah, and all that, and they're just going and going. And uh, they wind up fighting outside the dorm, down the hallway, into the elevator. I think they might have stopped for a second in the elevator. Got out the elevator, fight again. Boom, they go on down to the to the main area, the quad or whatever. The kids are coming around. Oh man, what's up? Oh man, strict Tatum, and all that stuff. And and um, you know that's just uh, that's the Philip. John David Strickland translation. So they're fighting and fighting. Uh, some of the coach assistants get over there and they're like, hey, hey, Woody, stop, man. Come on, man. If Woody finds out, you're going to be in trouble. You know, Coach Hayes, Woody Hayes. If he finds out, oh, come on, don't, man. Stop, stop, stop. And so they, 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 you know, get them to stop and all that. And they're looking at him. And they're like, man, we, oh, geez, guys, we got to take you to the hospital at all. And Dad and Tatum was like, take our own selves to the hospital. We're all right. Come on, I'm driving. And stuff and they hop in the car and go to the hospital get whatever stitches or whatever they got to get and go from there and stuff and it was you know it was good they got it all out at that time and uh it was kind of funny and my son-in-law sit there like that's this ring i was like yeah super softs mm-hmm sophomores yeah i mean they were a, a legacy when it comes to college and they had some fight in them um i said uh to give you an idea of how tough that was one of the reasons they call Jack Tatum the assassin is uh, he hit a, a guy so hard that uh, he paralyzed him. And um, uh, he was just playing the game and stuff. At that time, there wasn't a, a rule for that you know, specific hit. And the way they played, what they call it, monster back, rover back, something. They, uh, but the way they set up their defense and all that sort of thing from, from the Big Ten Ohio State and then uh, over to the uh, Raiders with Madden, you know, who, um, you know, Madden football and all that stuff. Well, he was like one of the first ones to um, have like more of an integrated type football team. And uh, um, there's a lot of big changes in and around those um, early, you know, late 60, early 70 years um, that, that uh, were just significant. And with all that being said, um, what my son-in-law got from that at the end is he's like <laughs> so my wife comes from a sparky family i was like amen amen sparky for the lord <laughs> love y'all talk to you a little bit peace <laughs>